he's a bird and he flew into the dry Tortugas next to our boat and he wants to and he likes politics. He likes politics? So does he want to sit in on a quick little political discussion? Yep. All right. Thanks for introducing Huey. Hi. Have to make it a little political. Um, in this age, I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on, but the reality is we can all admit that in the last 12 months, the country that we live in is not like the country we used to live in. Um, something as basic as... Um, having to wear a mask in a grocery store or walking down um, a, a main street or even walking on the beach. The idea that uh, they're talking about possibly forcing vaccines on us is, you know, it, it, I'm not going to get into the merits of every single um, side or every detail of both sides of the argument, but There are, there are a lot of things that we could talk about relative to uh, the way this country has uh, transformed in the last 12 months. But there are a couple of ways that you can handle this. You can either conform to every single thing that they are asking of us. I'm not saying whether that's the right thing or the wrong thing to do. If you don't want to conform to it, you can defy it. And if you defy it, then of course there will be consequences to pay because let's face it, government ultimately is force. And when it comes down to it, you will be forced to comply by somebody who has more and bigger guns and more people to enforce their rules than you. And uh, the third option that I can see is that you get the hell out of their way. And that's kind of what my attitude is. I used to have a defiant, I'm not doing anything that uh, violates the Constitution. Um, if they force me to do this or that, I'm just not doing it. And, uh, you know, as I've gotten a little older, only even in the past 10 years, I've kind of changed my attitude because I'm not trying to be a hero. I'm not trying to, to change anybody's mind. I know that <clears throat> from my past involvement with politics and the legal system and courts and so on and so forth, the whole system is corrupt through and through. And we've talked about that on past uh, videos on this channel. Just, just scroll back and uh, look back in time. And that's the whole reason we built the Redneck Homestead off-grid channel in the first place. It was because of the, the climate that sought to conform us to, um, to something that we believe is totally unconstitutional, unbiblical. And now I, I'm not trying to change anybody. I'm not trying to change the government. What's so funny, Joshua? What's so funny, buddy? <laughs> He surely doesn't think the political discussion is funny, but uh, nevertheless. So we've elected to just get the heck out of their way. I'm not interested in. Uh, I'm not interested in having an argument with them. Let them do what they want. Let them let them do whatever they want to this country. Destroy it even further. Um, that's their business. As you can see out here at this anchorage, yes, technically we are technically still in Florida. We're 60 or 70 miles um, offshore at this remote fort and uh here it is it's really very cool but being in florida we're still technically in their jurisdiction and if they wanted to enforce certain things against us um then they could but this is exactly what i'm talking about when i say get out of their way nobody cares whether i'm wearing a mask right here or not now maybe when we go ashore they might care when we go into the fort, because that's like a government-run, you know, tourist attraction. So, yeah, maybe they'll make us wear a mask in there. I, I don't know. But the truth is, it's that where we are right now is outside of their practical jurisdiction. It is too much effort with too little yield for them to have, you know, the Coast Guard and the police and so on and so forth, all these enforcement personnel... <laughs> solving uh you know what they perceive to be a problem which we by the way don't perceive to be a problem at all and uh there's got to be a place that we can go or places that we become low value on the um on the bullseye a low value target as we call it and I believe that the boat in the warm climate, come on guys, 
the boat in a warm climate like this is the best of both worlds. We uh, we're out in the sun. We're enjoying ourselves doing what we would do it do either way, whether COVID existed or not. And we simultaneously accomplished the goal of being outside of their um, their give a darn radius. So that's it. That's my that's my soapbox for the morning. And I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have more soapboxes uh, in future in future segments. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about my kind of armchair analysis of the three approaches that you can take to dealing with what we perceive to be um, an oppressive, tyrannical approach to tamping down our liberties um, because of the threat of essentially a flu that uh, clearly they are leveraging uh, for their political advantage. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. You can uh, leave the comments below. I'd really like to hear your feedback. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Airspeed Adventures. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now and click the notification bell so you can get notified when we come out with new content. Have a great day.